But today here, well, this is the uh, 8th of December 2017. Posted a couple of videos of the congressman from Arizona, Congressman Trent Frank. And again, if you've been watching some of those videos, you know that he's been a congressman since I believe 2002 or the beginning of 2003. What many people might not have been aware of is that when he entered Congress, he had lost his home to foreclosure and he had his car repossessed. And it was reported that today he's worth $55 million. And according to the members within the Senate and the Congress, he's the 29th richest man in Congress. Daryl Issa is number one. He's worth around $400 million, but Daryl Issa made most of his money on his own when he developed a burglar alarm car company. So you got this congressman, and when he resigned initially, he made it effect at the beginning of January. Well, and I said, why doesn't he leave now? Well, it looks like he's chosen to leave now. <laughs> His resignation has been made official for the 8th of December 2017. What you might also want to do some research on, it was reported that one of the women that he wanted to be his surrogate to carry his child was offered $5 million. Now here's a guy that was dead ass broke when he went into Congress, and he's worth again, reportedly, to the sum of 55 million, and he offered a woman $5 million. He could have bought a whole lot of women out of Las Vegas for a hell of a lot less, huh? <laughs> he's also a whacked out Mormon. You know, he believes that when he dies, he'll be owning his own planet, and when his family members die, they'll be joining him. What also needs to be looked into are the two daughters. Whose were they? Huh? Is there a DNA connection between his wife, himself, and those daughters? I could care less. I'd be more interested in the DNA of Malia and Sasha, and Big Mike, and Barack Hussein Obama. You know, there's Islamic extremists. Fudge back in Sunni homosexual communist Arab bastard. Yeah, this uh, Congress and the Senate's an absolute sewer. What President Trump needs to do, needs to bring in term limits on members of the Senate and the House of Representatives, and he also needs to make insider trading illegal for members of Congress. That's how most of them make their killings. They're given insider information. Pelosi did it. They all do it. John Boner did it. I know it's Boehner. I like calling him Boner. And that worthless present speaker, Paul Ryan. Yeah, good investments. You too could make good investments if you're given, Psst, invest in this. They're going public. Huh? Bunch of jackasses. Trent Frank isn't the only one. He needs to be thoroughly investigated. We need to find out, well, where the money came from. Huh? Was he paid off by lobbyists? Was he given tips by pharmaceutical companies? I don't know. You tell me what you think. You sure as hell know what I think. Don't you?